Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my February favorites. Tons of stuff here as per usual. I have beauty books, lifestyle, you name it. I cover it all in these videos. I like to keep it random because that's what I like. <laughs> I love random stuff, not just beauty. I throw in all my personal favorites from the month that just stood out to me, whether it's fashion, random games that I like, books I'm reading, it's all in these videos. I'm gonna start off with beauty, which I typically do, and I'm gonna start with my lip combo because I cannot get over e.l.f. Cosmetics right now. I'm so in love with their launches and what they're doing. They're making affordable versions of our favorite high-end products. It doesn't get much better than that to me. So I am loving e.l.f. and I had to start here. I feel like I'm late to this. However, purchased this on Amazon. I wanted to try out some colors and I picked up this one by accident. I wanted to get the red one and I still think I'm gonna go back and get the red one, but I'm so glad I got this because I think this lip color on me is literally the perfect shade for me. No lipstick, no nothing, just a lip oil and it's from e.l.f. This is really affordable, under $10 I got it for and it is their Glow Reviver lip oil. It's like the Dior lip oils. It has that big doe foot applicator on it. And I got the shade Pink Quartz, which is so gorgeous. I am obsessed with this shade. I'm so happy that I accidentally got this one. The red one just had more pigment and I thought I liked that better, but I don't think it could get much better than this shade on my lips. I love it. And what I paired it with is this lip stain from Amazon as well. I saw someone use it as a lip liner and it's from Palladio. It is a lip stain. It is in the shade Mocha. So I have that to line my lips. And what I like about this for a lip stain, cause typically I don't like lip stains, but this one I like because it's pointed and you can actually use it to line your lips. And I just blend it out and it makes a more long lasting lip liner, which I really, really love. I love the color. I love the smell of this too. It smells really good. There's a good amount of pigment that comes out. It's easy to use and it doesn't dry out my lips like some other lip stains and it's really affordable. So wanted to mention that, but this is my go-to affordable lip combo right now that I'm wearing on my lips and I cannot get enough of it. The shine, the wear, it's so perfect. Let me know if you've tried either of these and if you have not, some affordable options for you to pick up if you want to get this lip combo. It is my number one of the month. Had to start there. Start off with a bang to share that with you guys. I also picked up the new Summer Fridays lip balm and this is my favorite one they have done. It's the birthday cake one. It has a little bit of a shine to it. People were asking me to compare it to Pink Sugar and I do think it is a little bit thicker but very comparable. I like the smell of this one better and I prefer a thicker gloss. If you guys don't already know, I do like a thicker gloss because it just stays on the lips longer, just like this lip oil stays on, which I love. So this one has a little bit of sheen to it. I used it in my previous trying new makeup if you wanna go see it on the lips. But I'm just obsessed with the smell and the light pink tone of this and that little bit of shimmer that this adds to the lips. It is so beautiful and I just, it's my favorite one. <laughs> I love it, love it so much. I hope they do more with this kind of shimmer to it. It's not gritty at all. It's just very glossy looking on the lips and just such a beautiful formula, so. Highly, highly recommend this. Hopefully it's not sold out already, but I will have everything linked below for you guys to go check out. I had to mention it though, it's been a favorite for sure. Then I have been getting into fiber brow gels, I guess these are. And these are two ones I recently tried. One is from Urban Decay. I tried this in my recent trying to make up as well. This is the Urban Decay Big Bush Brow. And then I also have the Benefit Precisely My Brow Wax. And they both have this tint to it. I got the shade Brown Sugar in the Urban Decay at number three. They're both fairly similar, I'd say. Honestly, on my brows, they do the exact same thing because they have a light brown color and they add a little bit of fiber and tint. So fullness and also some natural like highlights to my brows, I guess you could say, but I love how this fills in and just finishes off my brows. I've never done a step like this for my brows, so it's a little extra step, but honestly, it's so quick and easy. I just quickly pop this through my brows, almost my lashes when I'm showing you guys. I recommend both of these, I just feel like they're the last step I've needed for my brows. I just really love how they look with this last little step. It lightens them just enough, I feel, to match my hair pretty good. So, highly recommend these. If you've never tried a fiber product, you can also use those 
without any sort of pencil or anything that I do. You can just throw that through your brow for a really, really quick brow. And I've done that before and it works really nicely. It's like a benefit gimme brow, kinda. I don't know the difference <laughs> between the wax and the gimme brow. Do they still have gimme brow? I don't know. I haven't used it in a while, but love a fiber brow wax. I know blush has been a thing for a very long time, but this month specifically for blush finds for me are the best of the best. I have probably my new favorite blush ever in this video. And if you saw my last trying new makeup, you're gonna guess what it is. But I'm gonna go through all these. We have various price range and formulas to go over. I have four different ones that I want to share in this video. This first product, I know a lot of people are saying it's gimmicky or people getting paid to talk about these. And there's a campaign going on for these. However, I'm not paid <laughs> for them. I just genuinely love these blushes. They're from Milk Makeup and they did send them to me in PR, but I fell in love with them right away. Before I saw anyone's video on these, I just think they're so cool, innovative. I love to see brands stepping out of the box and doing something different like this. So I personally love these. And if you think they're just gimmicky, try one. They are that good. You can use them as a stain for the cheeks or the lips. I prefer them on my cheeks myself. And because they're a stain, this blush formula lasts forever on your skin. So that is something that I love because blush is the first thing to fade. These are locked on <laughs> to your makeup. So if you have an issue with that, check out this formula. It's so good. It is hard to work with if you're unfamiliar with this sort of formula because it was new to me. You definitely can't just swipe this on the skin. You gotta go in with the brush first and then lightly go on top of your face because wherever you put it, it's gonna stain the skin. And it's just such a cool texture. I just still cannot get over these. Yes, it's to be determined how long these will last, their shelf life. That's a reasonable question to ask because I'm curious. However, I haven't had them for long enough because it's a new product to really determine what the shelf life is gonna be, but you should keep the cap that this comes with just so you can keep it airtight sealed. And then it has that beautiful jelly texture. If I touch it, it will stain my finger, but it is so, so cool. It is cooling and it does stain. It lasts forever, beautiful colors, and just such a cool concept. And I will update if these happen to dry out for whatever reason, I will update you guys, but I would just recommend picking up one, one color that you like to try out. I did a full swatch video of these for a YouTube short if you wanna go check that out, but I love them. I know they look gimmicky because the whole concept behind it is super cool, but the formula is genuinely amazing if you need your blush to last and if you like a lip stain. I don't personally usually, but I do like them for the cheeks. So wanted to mention those and a more affordable blush, liquid blush. We have these e.l.f. ones. They're the Camo Liquid Blush. I have three colors, very similar to the Rare Beauty blushes if you like them. For an even better price, I still think Rare Beauty is well-priced. e.l.f. is even better. So I love these blushes. I tried them recently, but truly they are an unbelievable drugstore product. I love a liquid blush. These are so beautiful. I use them on my lips too. They're just so versatile and the colors are so pretty. They have even darker ones. You can mix them all together. You can create your own custom blush from them. They're just amazing and truly this one right here, almost identical to Happy from Rare Beauty if you like that color. It's in the shade Pinky Promise. And then I have the two lighter shades as well, which I absolutely love. In that drugstore video, I actually swatched these next to the Rare Beauty blushes if you wanna go check that out. I think it's really helpful if you wanna see kind of the color comparisons to the Rare Beauty, because people are comparing these to those. I got these for under $9 each at Walmart in Canada. That's where I picked them up, they're there, if you wanna go check those out. I got this in PR from Too Faced and it's their Cloud Crush Blush, which I already knew I love the formula, but this is in Candy Clouds, and this is one of their blurring blush formulas, and I'm obsessed with the formula. This has been on my wish list for some time, this particular color. I love the bubblegum pink, and it's super brightening and smoothing on this skin, so I wanted to mention this. Finally have my hands on it, super cute packaging. I love it if you're looking for a bubblegum pink blush that is smoothing on the skin. This formula from Too Faced is incredible for a powder blush. And then if you want a cream and powder combo, this blush, 
I cannot even begin. This color for me on my skin, I think this is my favorite blush ever. For my complexion, it is so beautiful. I was worried it might be a little light, but the pigment on this is actually incredible. It's from Patrick Ta. It's one of his new dual powder and cream blushes, and the shade is called Not Too Much, which is pretty much my version of a perfect blush. <laughs> as much as I like a bright, vibrant blush, for every day, this is my perfect kind of blush. I love something that just naturally looks just beautiful on the skin, <laughs> which this does. And you have both the powder and the cream. Both are very pigmented. Show up beautifully on my skin, whether I have a little bit of self tan on or not. It's just the perfect color for me. So if you're similar to my coloring, this blush for us, genuinely, I cannot recommend it enough. This is gonna be my go-to blush. When I want to look my best, this is gonna be my blush I choose because I just love everything about it, the tone, the formula, everything. You need this blush. <laughs> and then to add a little bit of glow to my skin, on my nose as well, I did pick up a new color in the Sephora Luminizer, and this is in Sparkling Honey. I like this even more than Ice Pearl. It is so beautiful on the skin. It gives a glow from within. It just looks like you're naturally super glowy and healthy looking. And the tone of this is, again, perfect for my skin tone. So I'm so happy I went back and got another shade because Ice Pearl was looking a little frosty on me. This blends in seamlessly with my skin tone. It just gives that glow that I'm looking for and it's very affordable because it's a four collection. So some great affordable products in this video. These two products caught me off guard. I was randomly looking on Sephora one day and added these to cart and we have the iconic London Velvet Smooth Pore Refining Primer. This is an incredible primer. If you like the Hourglass primer, you'd really like this formula. It's like that white silky consistency on the skin. It's super smoothing. It is beautiful. So if you're more so a fan of that kind of feel and smoothness, you'd really like this. I still need to compare it next to some of my other favorite primers just to see if it wins, but this is a contender for top smoothing primer I've ever tried. It is so, so good, but I do need to do a little trial to see how it stacks up against some of my other smoothing primers but i have that in my t-zone today around my nose and just my skin i'm having some good skin days <laughs> this is a contributing factor along with some other things which i will share with you i discovered a new foundation which again took me by surprise <laughs> this is from morphe and i never expected to buy or fall in love with a morphe foundation like I have with this. It is the Light Form Extended Hydration Foundation. It looks incredible on the skin. I used this in my previous trying new makeup, so you can go check it out. The glow this gives, the smoothness, the radiance, it is, oh, it's so good. And it lasts on my skin, which are the things that I look for, it takes off all the boxes when I'm looking for a foundation. I have the shade Medium 11N, and it does look light when I initially have it on my hand, and it is very liquidy. However, it just goes on my skin and matches my skin really nicely. It's very adjustable, I feel. Good coverage too, if you're looking for coverage just in one light layer. Great coverage, great formula, good price point, great shade range, check, check, check. <laughs> this checks all the boxes. Skincare, two products to quickly go over. I discovered a new Korean made sunscreen and I got this from Stylevana because I was looking at their award-winning products from the previous year to see what I should check out next. And this one was the top sunscreen for 2023. So this is the Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Hylacica Water Fit Sun Serum SPF 50 Plus. I get all my Korean skincare from Stylevana. They actually reached out recently and sent me some makeup, which I have yet to try. And they also gave me a coupon code, which I'm going to totally use myself on all the Korean skincare that I purchase from their website because I'm a consistent shopper on their website. So it's Shop Cheryl if you want to save some money. So definitely check out my coupon code with Stylevana now if you yourself also 
like Korean skincare, that's where I get mine. And this sunscreen is even better than my Beauty of Joseon one for texture, but very similar. So if you like the Beauty of Joseon, I highly recommend checking out the Skin 1004 one because I think you're gonna really like it. No white cast, glowy skin. It sinks into the skin though, but gives you the most beautiful glow. I've used this in a couple trying new makeups now so you can actually see how this looks like on my skin and it's just so beautiful. And you can see that it's not hard to put on or anything, it just feels good on the skin. It's such a good formula and it does not break me out. Korean sunscreen for me, <sighs> I'm so happy I found it and it was you guys who put me on. So, so thank you so much. You've led me down this journey and I found this one myself cause I was just so interested in trying out new products that are Korean made. So that is my new favorite sunscreen that I wanted to share in my favorites video. I got to load up on this sunscreen cause I'm filming in the sun all day. It's so good. Then the last skincare product I have is from Skin Fix, and this is the Eczema Plus Dermatitis Relief Balm for face and body. I had a patch of eczema on my neck and it is pretty much almost gone. And I've been using this to calm that down. It worked for me, it's a skin protectant. It just really helped with that dryness and irritation. I could also feel a little bit of dermatitis happening just near my eyes and I wouldn't recommend putting this on your eyes. However, I put it on those areas and it helped that out too. It kind of cools the skin and just feels relieving. So you don't have that itchiness, which is so annoying if you have eczema or dermatitis or whatever you have. This has been a savior this month for me. So I'm so happy about this and I will continue to use it on my areas that are more prone to eczema, which unfortunately is my neck and my chest. <laughs> and I've used this on my entire face too and I really liked it. So. Instant relief, but also fix my problem. So two in one for me. Now to my fails, which are in the beauty category. And then I will move on to my books and lifestyle to share with you. I need to go back to Skin by Kim because after I filmed that video and already had a ton of issues when I filmed that video for you guys, I continued to have issues after filming that. So I wanted to update you here on my experience. I did update that video in the comment, however, I wanted to address it in an actual video. I was opening up one of their lipsticks one day to test out. I had not used it. I just opened it and the lipstick just fell out. <laughs> like what? <laughs> also the sheer amount of product for $45. It looks like a tiny piece of chalk. Like I don't understand. I just can't believe that happened. I never dropped it. I wasn't using it. It was just the force of opening it that literally just removed the lipstick from the tube. And I posted this on Instagram that it happened to me and the amount of people who reached out who that happened to them as well, not good. However, I contacted customer service about it. They refunded me, no problem. I did have to send in a plethora of pictures to show what happened, but they refunded me, no issue. So I can't really complain because they did refund me, but I just wanted to let you know that Yes, for the lip products no longer be purchasing and I wasn't anticipating purchasing the eyeshadow palette and that's the thing I love the most <laughs> of Skin by Kim. So wanted to address that here. And then two other products I used recently in that trying new makeup, which was just a whole train wreck of a video if you haven't seen it. I tried out the Urban Decay Slick Day Brow and this isn't a bad brow gel in the sense that it does hold everything down. So if you put this on last, I think you'd actually like it. However, I like to put my brow gel down first so I can see where I need to fill in. And this formula just doesn't work for that. So this product isn't for me. Could it be for you? Absolutely, because it's a decent brow gel in terms of setting everything. I just like to do it first. So I can't use that formula first because nothing sticks down after I apply that. And then I tried out the Stila Matte Stale Day Matte Liquid Eyeliner in brown. And this is just like a dud or something. Someone else commented they had to return theirs because they had similar issues. So I don't know what it is about that, but I felt like it also irritated my eyelash line. That's when I had to go in with this because I'm like, what is going on with my eyes right now? Those were the products that didn't work out for me. I'm gonna start off with random, then I'm gonna go into my book to share with you. And I ended up purchasing something that I've wanted for so long. And I heard that they're coming out with a second generation of this. So that's why this has been going on sale. So I caught this on sale and saved a good amount of money. And these are the Apple AirPod Maxes. I had Apple little earbuds before and I lost them. I do not trust myself with little earphones. I need ones that 
are big like this. <laughs> I was hesitant about purchasing these because they are so pricey. So I just wanted to let you know if they're worth it for you to purchase because I know I was going back and forth for quite some time. I would personally buy these just for their noise cancellation property alone <laughs> because truly I've never experienced that with a headphone. I had some Beats ones prior that have really good sound quality and if I were to compare that sound quality to this, I don't notice a difference personally for sound. People say these are amazing for sound. I thought my Beats were really good. These are just really good for me for the comfort. They go completely around the ear. I could wear these all day, no issue. So they're very comfortable, which is important for me, especially for editing, which I use these for. So I use the noise cancellation feature, put these on. I won't even have music on or anything. I'm just using these to edit my video with noise cancellation. My ability to edit a video has gotten so much faster because I'm not distracted. And these sync up so well this is my favorite thing they sync up so well because i use apple everything my laptop my phone all that so i can go back from my laptop to my phone and this constantly knows which one i'm on and instantly connects and i cannot tell you how efficient that is for editing for my work from my phone from my computer just to have this and how fast it connects to all my devices so that alone with the noise cancellation for me is a win they look a little dirty right now, my makeup, but I bought these silicone covers, which I'll also link below for you guys, just to protect, I'll take off the whole thing so you can see. Easy to clean though. You can take off the actual speaker ear thing and I have these silicone covers so I can just clean those and these stay nice. If you are looking to get these, I would recommend getting a silicone cover if you wear makeup at all. I'm not a sweater, but these can get hot because they cover your entire ear. I use these for working out, for editing, and I just absolutely love them. I got the black ones, I think they are, or steel, I don't know what, they, what color they are. I'll have them linked for you, but I love them, so comfortable, and I just wanted to let you know the pros and cons of them if you were looking to pick them up. Yes, they're pricey, but for the convenience of the connection, the noise cancellation, all the features that I didn't have before in my Beats ones, these just, honestly, I wish I got them sooner for me. So I am in love with them. I just find it weird that these don't actually turn off. They don't have an off button. You put them in here and they just kind of go to sleep. I need to charge mine, but that's how they kind of go off, I guess. They just go to sleep, which I find weird, but they work great. So I'm very happy with the purchase. And then also, I mentioned this in my trying new makeup too, but I'm wearing it again today because I wanted to mention it in my favorites video. And I need to clean it because I have makeup all over it, but I needed to show you guys it in my favorites. This is the new Lululemon cropped black with gold hardware defined jacket. It is incredible. It is my favorite thing that I've found from Lululemon. I'm on a kick now again. However, I saw this going viral on TikTok and I couldn't imagine a better piece of Lululemon clothing than this. This was made for me. The black with gold hardware is just stunning. The fit of the cropped, stunning. I love it so much. So if you were curious about picking this up, it is worth it. It is so soft. It is amazing. It looks beautiful. Whether you're wearing it casually to work out, I love the hands on it. I can even make it like those baby onesies and not scratch myself. I don't know why I did that, but what is that for? To like, if you're running, make your hands not cold? I don't know. I don't fold it ever, but it's kind of cool that I just feel like a baby, you know? And it had their little hands covered. Anyways, this video is getting weird. My last random favorite is my new room. I am so in love with it. I love the filming setup. I love seeing light again, not being in my basement. <laughs> I love everything that we did to this room. I had my friend Amber Tools and Heels. I'll have her account on the screen for you guys. She helped me with the accent wall in this room and it turned out so good. I was pricing it out because I was going to get actual acoustic panel slat walls and it would have cost me like $1,300. We did this for less than $300. She saved me a thousand bucks by DIYing this wall for me. Go check her out. She has an amazing Instagram and she does DIYs that you can do yourself. Like I am not a competent person when it comes to things like this. I was able to do it with her and I felt good about it. 
and she does it on a budget so you don't have to spend a ton of money to create beautiful spaces in your house home stuff is so pricey so to have someone like that in my life i'm just so thankful for her so definitely go check her out thank you amber <laughs> so so much for helping me with this room i love it so much so i wanted to mention that in my february favorites we've been working on it for a little bit and I love everything about this room. So if you guys wanna actually see a room tour, I was just gonna quickly show it in this video because I don't know if anyone wants to actually see the full on tour, but I can definitely do that for you guys if you're interested. This video is already a million years long. <laughs> the last thing I have here is the book I'm reading. I stopped my Throne of Glass reading to start the third installment of Crescent City. I don't have the book sleeve on it right now. I have my little foundation fingerprints on here. <laughs> but I am a little over halfway done and I'm loving it so far. It is so good. This is by Sarah J Mass, and I'm a huge fan of all her series. And this is the third one for Crescent City and cannot say enough good things about it. I haven't finished it though, because I do read every day. I don't know if you guys know that, but I do read every day. Not necessarily my books like this, but I do read my Bible every day, every morning. So I did get a new one, which I wanted to share with you guys in this video. This is the one I'm gonna be going into next. I try reading it in a year. So it's a lot of reading. If you've ever done reading the Bible in a year before, it's quite a bit of reading. I write notes every time I read. So I got a new note-taking Bible. And this is from Hosanna Revival. They make the most beautiful Bibles. This is my latest one that I'm gonna be using after the one I'm currently working on, which I also got from Hosanna Revival. And this one, I was waiting to come back in stock. It came back in stock in February. I was signed up for notifications. I purchased it right away, but it's so, so gorgeous if you're looking for a note-taking Bible. They have amazing Bibles, different versions. I have King James here, but I have other versions that I like to study as well. So if you're looking for a new one, highly recommend Hosanna Revival. If you want a beautiful Bible, they're just so high quality. This is like a soft leather-like finish. And this one's large print, so it's not super tiny. Tons of room for writing on the margins. Also, this time around, I got a notebook, little journal thing to go with it that just matched the Bible. So I'm really happy with it. It's so pretty. I'll have it linked down below as well, but I discovered them on TikTok as well. I was so against TikTok for so long, but honestly, I found some amazing things. I feel like my little area of TikTok is just so pure and good that I just love TikTok right now. So found that on there. My current Bible is pretty beat up, so I don't really want to show it. This is my current Bible that I'm working on and it's beautiful, it's simple. It has the fruits of the spirit on the back and I did buy Bible tabs for this one just so that it's easier for me for note taking, but like she's full. Like i am been working on this hard and I do that every single morning. So Hasano Revival, this one I did get on Amazon though cause they had this one at a discount. So you can get them on either place if you check out. Just type in Hasano Revival and you can find your version of the Bible that you like, different aesthetics depending on what you're going for. The latest one that I have is my absolute favorite. It's so, so nice. So that is everything for my February favorites. It was a very long video. This time I had so many good things. I actually had to cut back this video because there was even more that I wanted to share with you. So we will keep testing it out and it might make it into March. <laughs> So these are the best of the best to me, considering this was limited. And I hope you guys enjoyed the random beauty books lifestyle. I like to keep it all in these videos, maybe found something that you wanna check out and hopefully my reviews help you out decide if you wanna purchase any of these products. But these have been the best for the month and I highly, highly recommend. Everything will be linked below as always in the order that I talk about it because I like keeping it organized like that. So let me know what you've been loving this past month. I would love to know your recommendations. Thank you guys so, so much for clicking on this video, for spending some time with me today. I love you so, so much. If you have not already, I would absolutely love for you to be a subscriber of my channel. Join the family here, hit the red subscribe button, the bell to be notified of all my future videos, and I will see you, my loves, in my next video. <laughs>